Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect. Now yeah, let's talk to this fellow here, Samesh Bhatia. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. <clears throat> it's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Okay. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. Hmm, that's kind of messed up. There's no reason for your wife's body to be yeah. held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. You got it, boss. Alright, we are definitely gonna go see that guy right away. Where is that now? Uh. Back this way. Uh, holy crazy camera. There he is. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. <clears throat> I wish I could help him. Serviceman Narali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. Hmm. That is why her body is being held. You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Norali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Hmm. How long do you think this research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. You gotta have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. Huh. I'll tell Mr. Bhatti about this. It might make it easier for him to understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. Please let me know if you have any other questions. All right. Uh, it's the map. It's strange. Where's the more humans around? <laughs> oh, I think we already talked to that guy before, didn't we? Nas Nasana. Watch out, Tal. So, I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Okay. Uh, geez, sorry, I thought you had a mission for me or something. <laughs> oh, we already spoke to the bartender. Alright, let's go back and talk to Mr. Batia. And that's the uh, Turian ambassador dude. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosco? Will you return my wife's body? Tell me again what you've been told about your wife. As I said, I've been told nothing. I don't understand why they won't release her body to me. Okay, well, we already talked to Bosker, so I don't need to know his location. It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. It is unacceptable. I'll let you know what I can do. Thank you. Please let me know what can be done. Damn, eh? 
<coughs> well, let's see what our journal says about it. Homecoming. Samesh Bhatia, the husband of a soldier who died on Eden Prime, has asked you to convince the Alliance to return his wife's body. Uh, you've heard Mr. Bosker's reasons for keeping the body. You will need to use charm or intimidate skills to convince one of the men to see reason. Well, you know... I obviously get it from his perspective. I get that. But from the other perspective, he says his, his wife served humanity faithfully in life. Where in now, if they're doing tests and can figure out something important or groundbreaking, she also serves mankind in death. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will you return my wife's body? Hmm. How do I, uh... They're running medical studies under Raleigh. That's why they won't release the body. Yes, you told me as much. I don't care what the military wants for her. My wife finished her service when she gave her life on Eden Prime. It is time for her to come home. Okay. It is unacceptable. Okay. I'll let you know Thank what I can... I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do. Let's go back and talk to this guy. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to intimidate this guy into making it happen. Hello again, Commander. Can I help you? <laughs> Release the body. Now. <laughs> I'd like you to reconsider releasing Narali Bhatia's body. I'm sorry, Commander. The needs of the living outweigh the needs of the dead. Studying Narali Bhatia's body could save the lives of countless soldiers. I can't release her. Damn. Nothing new. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Damn. Alright, let's see if Homie says anything different now. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Uh, Will you return my wife's body? Not yet. I'll be back when Thank I... Thank you, order. Commander. I guess we'll have to uh, talk to somebody else about it to figure it all out. Um... Oh yeah, we have to go see that chick. Where the hell is that again? Uh, there's a rapid transit thing here. There we go, let's test the rapid transit, you guys. Let's see how, if it's actually, like, decent and brings me where I want to go. We need to go to the wards. At the med clinic, that'd be nice. That would bring us, like, uh, about 100 feet away from the person that we need to go see. That's the uh, loading screen, if you're wondering. Loading. Oh, it actually says loading in the bottom left. I didn't even see that. Awesome. Alright. Wasn't she, like, right here? To flux. Tally's <laughs> Tally was getting blocked by those people. Hold on a second. Sorry, you guys. There's uh, <clears throat> once again a lot to do. Uh, wards. Course done. Apparently there's something, something that we need to discover in here, so let's go check it out. <laughs> this place is bumping once again.
Yeah, there's something in here. Ah, optical storage disc. We got that shit. <laughs> Fists OSD, you guys. Our reporter name Emily Wong. Bip -bip -bop -bop. Information you found on Fist Hide It will help Miss Wong with a report on crush and go to the upper wards to deliver it to her. Got what we were here for. I guess I missed it when we uh, when we fought Fist. Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. She sees, still seems to be busy. spoken to thou. We don't even really have any money anyway, so uh, there kind of isn't even really any sense in <laughs> talking to any of the shopkeepers, really. I mean, we could buy the licenses and stuff like that, but we already got a whole bunch. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Thanks. People need to hear this story. I'm glad I could help. Thank you, Commander. I'll certainly let you know if How many times are we going to shake hands? Helps you. We now, just shook hands excuse three me, times. Excuse me, go see what's on these discs. Did you guys see that? We just shook hands three times. Holy crap, 200 bucks and 140 experience points. Holy crap, that was pretty big. Alright, so we can't do... Yeah, we can't do that one. And we can't do that one. And that's just on the fly. Samesh Batia, we still need to figure out. We need to use charm or intimidate skills to convince one of the men to see reason. Maybe it'll uh, come back later on or something, you know what I'm saying? Um... Saved Corian to give you the evidence. Lincoln to the ambassador. Una is going to present the evidence to the council. We should be there when the ambassador presents the Corian's evidence to the Citadel Council. Return to the Citadel Tower in the Presidium. You got it. Let's head over to a uh, the fast travel. Wow. One one more look at this because honestly, this game is so fucking amazing. That is jaw-dropping, like it really is. They they went a little bit over the maximum when they made this game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh wait, can we get uh, get like free meta gel in here? Can we not? Yeah. Yeah. Free meta gel. Oh, we never actually talked to her as a shop. I wonder if she'll have a license or something. I never properly thanked you for saving yeah. me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. What? Personal questions. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. You're a doctor. Okay. And my my father, I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. If you're wondering how to skip dialogue in this game, you literally just press the X button. Holy shit. Medical exoskeleton 8, you guys. Holy crap. Plus 3.5 health per second, 50% toxin, 
50% reduction and oh my god, $420,000. <laughs> what is that? Ooh, health regeneration. Damn, that's $700? Bruh, stuff in this game is so expensive. Presidium. Citadel Towers. We can look at the map. Oh, yeah, see? I was just going to say, we can look at the map to find those little orange exclamation points because those are missions. I totally forgot. Oh, that's Captain Anderson up there. Yeah, it is. Man, I was able to recognize that motherfucker from like 300 feet away. <laughs> What's up, Cap? Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Yeah, let's see how this one goes now. Eden Prime was a major victory. Brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Yeah, play it for him. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. Oh, I, I have to unplug my controller, you guys. I just wanted to take a sip of my drink, and I fucking spilled it all over my controller. I apologize, you guys. <laughs> I literally just grabbed my shirt and just started going nuts all over. Okay, there we go. Huh. Plug it back in. I apologize, you guys. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience. They serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. Hmm. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Shit. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a spectre. The council has stripped him of his position. Oh, that is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the traverse. Send your fleet in. A fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region. Keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull. Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. 
Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Hmm. Oh shit, they're putting in their vote, you Commander guys. Shepard, step forward. Yes, ma'am. We got this, Captain. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. <laughs> Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an idea, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Seren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Damn. Well, that went well. <laughs> Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this oh, up. Achievement. I thought the ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Hell yeah. Woo! Spectre training, charm, and intil intimidate talents unlocked. Oh, you guys. Now this game has, has really gotten started now. <clears throat> so we prove that Saren is connected with the Geth. As a reward, the Council has granted us Spectre status and commissioned us to track down the rogue Spectre. Oh, you guys, oh my fucking god. The Ambassadors will provide you with a ship and crew. Meet him at the Alliance Docking Bay, accessible through the Central Elevator in the CSEC Academy. So first we have to go speak with that requisition officer, homie. Do we not? Yeah, <clears throat> we gotta go speak with that requisitions officer guy. Alright, so we got our Spectre training, you guys. Uh, increases health, accuracy, and effectiveness of all attacks, powers, and grants unity. So, I think that is unity, yeah. Whew. So we'll go all into Spectre training for that. Does this give him assault training? Yeah. Master sabotage. Oh, that's for a uh, hard. Well, we do inevitably need that. And the sooner we have it, the better off we are, because then we can open hard cases. And hard cases, obviously, if you're wondering, hard cases have, like, the best shit in them. And I need her decryption and hacking to be insane. So there's master. So that's uh, decryption on hard. See? Well, that's right. They both have decryption. Okay, so we'll go for his decryption. She needs to get decryption to unlock hacking. And he only has decryption, you see. So we need this for sure. So that we can get... Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. <laughs> totally clicked on the wrong thing. Oh, I would have been pissed if I had a left the menu, you guys. Alright, so, uh, 
AI hacking is like the greatest thing in this fucking game. So you can hack the computers better, and um, it's kind of interesting what it can do to robotic enemies. You can like basically make them fight for you. Pretty cool shit. It basically makes the geth like little kittens. Little kittens! Um... What do we need? CSEC. Yeah, we need CSEC. Apparently we need to go talk to the CSEC requisitions officer. That we did speak to him before, I think in the last episode or the episode beforehand. He was that guy just sitting at the desk. Um, with equipment to sell. Let's go ahead and um, check our map real fast. There it is. Requisition office. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Hello there, buddy. Yeah, we were supposed to come and talk to this guy. Hello, Commander. Show me what you got. Apparently he'll have some new stuff now because we're spiders. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. Uh -huh. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre. Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you got. <laughs> I'll look in the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Okay. Stinger 6. Heavy armor. We got 2,800 bucks, you guys. We've made a little bit of money here. <laughs> we still can cannot afford basically anything. <laughs> yeah, we can afford that. Hydra 2. We can avo afford this. It's just some armor. Oh, we have some stuff to sell, eh? Mm. How much is this shit worth? Where's the... Oh, sell value 11. I got you. 11. 18. 24. 24. I'm really not making that much money, you guys. <laughs> uh, we will soon, though. Once once you're, like, given Normandy and you can, like, go wherever you want to go sort of thing, um, then you really have, uh, like, enough money to play with, you know what I'm saying? Where's the uh, rapid transit up here? Oh, right there. Oops. <laughs> Got to. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, meet, meet them at the docking bay. Okay, I got you. Isn't that where this elevator literally goes to? The elevator to the docking bay. Okay, we got this, you guys. All right, well, uh, I guess uh, we'll end the episode right here. We're at 28 minutes. We might as well, because, uh, you know, I'm, this is where... In the next episode, we get the Normandy, you guys, so we'll actually be able to go anywhere and do anything we want. We will literally have a goddamn spaceship that can travel through the galaxy at that point. <laughs> so, and, and yeah, this game is as big as you think it is. This is literally one location in this game out of, like, 150. So, yeah, just uh, let that sink in. This, this game is absolutely massive, and we are basically, at this point, we are literally just kind of getting started in this game. The moment that you get the Normandy is when you can actually say, okay, I'm legitimately playing Mass Effect now. You know what I'm saying? Until then, you're you're just a uh, you're the mailman. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, thank you guys so much for coming out and watching this episode of Mass Effect. You guys, we got Tally on the team. We got Garrus on the team. I freaking love you guys. Wish you guys the total best. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day. And of course, I'll see you guys in the very next episode. So you be sure to have a good one. Bye bye.